Pre-game three, two, one. We're back at Victory Field. The Bats and the Indians, the second game of this split six-game series, and uh, the second of three here in Indianapolis. Devin Mezaraka is our guest on the warm-up show. Devin, congratulations. Uh, it's been a good start for you and uh, a, a good day yesterday, five RBIs, and it was the first time in your career, but it has to feel good just kind of to get off to a good start, huh? Yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, anytime you can get off a good start, you're not digging yourself in a hole. So it, it's definitely good, you know, for myself and for the team, you know, six and one. That's, yeah. uh, that's a heck of a start. Talk about the game-winning home run a couple nights ago. Uh, you, you came up there, and you said you were sitting fastball, and you got one. It was a line drive. I understand the home run. You can talk about that if you want. But tell me about the trip around the bases and right on into the clubhouse. Oh, you know, I was sitting on the bench there for a while and <laughs> kind of not really. You know, I was in the game paying attention. I didn't think I was going to get in, you know. So it was kind of excited to get in there and uh, – you know, you get in the game, I, I think I caught one inning, one, two, three, and then I come in and, you know, Jeremy got out there and I was up, so I was just kind of ready to go right off the bat. You know, I didn't, that guy didn't know how I was, you know, what type of hitter I was or anything, so I just figured, out, ah, you know, I'll sit on a fastball here and put a good swing on it and around the bases. I, you know, so, Somebody always told me that Corky said that I run the fastest home run trot around, and uh, I don't know. I was I was pretty pumped up, and then coming in, I really don't know what I was thinking. Honestly, I just kind of kept running right into the clubhouse. You know, it was a long day, so we sure, were ready to get going. Sure was. The uh, the situation last night, you're able after three home runs, three RBIs, to finally have a big RBI game, and and you wanted to take the most of those opportunities in that situation, right? Oh, there's no doubt. Anytime. Uh, you can get those guys on base in front of you. It's 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 a thrill to hit up there, you know. Especially bases loaded, two outs. That's those are the situations where uh, you know the clutch hitters seem to come through. I think, you know, I remember last year uh, Johnny Gomes was like batting 500 with guys, two outs, runners in scoring position. And you know, heck, if you get if they get an out there in the first, it's no runs as opposed to five. So. That's that's a big situation to get a hit in, and, you know, I was just happy it was me yesterday. I'll have more with Devin Mazzarocco in a moment. You're listening to Bats Baseball on Sports Radio 790. Segment 2 and 3, 2, 1. With Devin Mazzarocco, Reds catcher, and, or Bats catcher in the Red system, and uh, uh, one of the top prospects in the organization. D you can't think much about that, can you? Or, do you? or I guess if you do, how do you kind of separate all the hype right now from what's going on? No, heck, I, you know, yeah. that's more for the fans. That's sure. more for my family makes a big deal about it, but heck, I could care less if I was 800th prospect or whatever I am now. You know, it's for me, it's just a a matter of helping the team win games, and and I think you know the individual stuff will take care of itself. If if I go out there and catch a heck of a game, well, they're not going to score many runs. If I go out there, do my thing at the plate, you know, we're going to score some runs and win the game. So for me, it, it it's more day to day and just focusing on that, and everything's going to take care of itself. That being said, this is a fun bunch right now. I mean, off to a six and one start, and an offensive lineup uh, one through nine pretty potent, isn't it? Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, I think you look at the guys in our position, and you know, heck, everybody can swing it. it, it there's not, you know, there's not a hole in our lineup. There's no way the uh, even our pitchers, heck, Don Trail can swing it. Uh, <laughs> Reineke can swing a little bit. So. It, if you're an opposing catcher, you know, like myself, if I had to go up against this team, you know, there's really no guys off where you can just say, yeah, we got this guy, you know, here it comes, sure. you're out. So, uh, you know, we're going to battle up there. You know, I think you already seen what those come from behind when we had and uh, the other night where we came close. So, heck, uh, there's never going to be a time when we're out of the game, I think. Finally, when I ask you about the experience on the Reds caravan this winter, we saw you in Louisville when you stopped through. How was that for you? No, it was awesome. The, uh, you know, I was on the bus with Brandon Phillips, Marty Brenneman, and Lee May. And, uh, Jamie Ramsey as well, and right? And Ramsey, yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a bunch of characters on that bus. I kind of didn't say a whole lot and just kind of sat there by myself and just listened, you know, because it was hilarious. Uh, you know, Lee May was probably the funniest guy that I've ever met. He's just one of a kind. Uh, it, it was just a, a real thrill to be on. Congratulations on a good start and have a great year this year. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, it's Devin Mezzarocco with Todd Frazier helping at the end. That's baseball on Sports Radio 790.